All right, gentlemen. We want to the rules of the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Give me good sportsmanlike conduct. Punches here are good, both sides. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch him up. And Vargas said he would crowd Mosley early, imposing his will on Shane. Let's see if that materializes. Action right off the bat. Not a real hard jab, but Fernando is just trying to bore himself in, and I think the fight's going to get very explosive very early. He, he moved a lot in the second fight with Vernon Force, but I don't think that's going to be the case today. First right connected on the side of the head of Vargas. Vargas was because of the back problems that he was having. And Larry indicated that he would be taking an anti-inflammatory Vargas before the fight. The weight gain up and down fluctuation plus the physical damage that he's taken in those two fights, particularly with Trinidad and Delahoya. Having fought the best of his year at only age 28. Good exchange. Body shots by Mosley. By Vargas. Mosley hoping those body shots. Vargas walking down Mosley. Oh, well, it was a distinctly Vargas crowd during the uh, pre-fight introductions, but the Mosley followers letting yeah. themselves be heard. I think you're going to hear the, uh, the, the crowd continue to change up back and forth in this entire fight. Shane punches fast, but I don't think his heads are tight at the end of his punch. That's why I've always seen him as a fast puncher, but he doesn't punch with his hands closed as tight as it should be. More of a slap. Yeah, more of a punch at speed, but not as much. But if he slapped it good enough that he doesn't see the slap coming, good punch he can hurt him. by Mosley. Therefore, a punch, even if it's not a hard punch, can hurt him because Vargas may not even see the punch. Well, Larry's talking about busting up Vargas. There's quite a bit of swelling over the left eye. Of Fernando Vargas and Mosley is going after that eye. Well, that was the punch that Vernon Forrest hurt Mosley with. Good body shot right by Mosley to the body of Vargas. Right by Shane connects. He's letting it get blows on Fernando, but seems like he doesn't have enough power to hurt him at the stage. Right, right. and you really can see, and Fernando seems to feel that the way he's fighting is as if he can just physically try to walk through Shane. The right hand lead again. Shane with the flurry connecting on a couple. And I think he still punches with more power than Shane. Pain and Shane is faster than Punching with power is good, but you got to land the punches. Target's nice body shot. Lost her. He lost to both of them twice. Is he do you yield to the boxer's desire in that case? Because many were saying, "Why do that?" Yeah, Especially Vernon right. Forrest, his nemesis. Yes. That's the punch right there. Shane is really like has no defense for that short right hand. He better be very lucky that Fernando is not faster than he is. Much like he didn't have a defense for Wicky Wright's right jab. Well, you can't say he's lucky. That well, Fernando I, I, is as fast as him. Well, I it's think just it, that Fernando's got other strengths, but it, that's not it. Very well. I think evidently we chose to show right hands is landed by Shane, so that's all we saw. But I saw just as many right hands is landed by Fernando, and I. Th and I guess one point of those replays as well to Emmanuel, it's been the right hand of Shane Mosley that has elicited, brought out the swelling over the left eye of Fernando Vargas. Well, I think he's landing a lot, even though they're not just powerful, but I think he's landing a lot of punches. Right counter 
by Vargas with power. Right. Watch your watch your hands inside, guys. Left connected by Vargas. Oh, get, him outside. get him out. Oh, they both missed with right. Yeah, good right hand, so. Break up, break up, break up, break up. Go through their mind. Fernando seems to be much more comfortable with the situation. Even though Shane has landed a little Shane, his facial expression is he's very tense, very nervous, and still not as comfortable with the way things are going. Oh. Oh. Crunches, who's putting more hurt on the other guy? And I think Mosley has come back with a pretty good round after the last two. Excitement at the end there, but if, if uh, history stands up Usually in close fights, they like just the fighter who can put together those fast adverse usually can win those type decisions. Similar to what Mosley just did at the end of the last round. Yeah, it's not like either fighter has really hurt the other guy yet. Not a short, crisp, punching, high-class stuff. Come on, watch your head, guys. Right, right, right here. Oh, right here. Five Vargas. Yep. And then Shane explodes after that almost every time. And a left by Vargas. <laughs> left again by Vargas. Two punch oh, combinations. Yeah, Shane continues yeah, to fight this way, and Shane allows him. Vargas is better ex executing this way than Shane. Yeah, he's making it up as a fight. In danger of on, splitting on, open guys. or not? No, you know, no, a lot of time the blood is just just some pressure, you know. And some guys that years back, Joe Frazier used to use swell up, but the skin was just toughened so much it would never cut. Shane tried to deliver a whole run left hook there, man. A lot of pressure though that was building up on that left hand. Keep him on, let's go, guys. Keep him on, let's go. And Emmanuel, yeah, even though it may down appear down. to be, and you Bring correct me. I always look at him as a flash. I never saw him really as much of a boxer. It's those flash combinations are here. Two he's, rights. Uh, right. Three rights on that swollen eye. I don't think, I don't think it really being a big factor in this fight. That has plagued him throughout. He's plagued him throughout his career. He's always had problems. But I don't think I ever recall Shane too much ever being a busted up or swollen up in any of his fights. Shane continuing to work. That was an even try to see to block it. Vargas keeps fighting. Articulating what you said that Vargas doesn't appear as if he can even see the rights coming. Yeah, he should, Vargas should come out in that weather. He cannot afford to keep fighting the same pattern fight that he's been fighting all along. Yeah, but the the, the uh, advice he got in the corner. Right, right Mosley working three consecutive lefts to the body of Vargas. And now a right to the eye. And, and look at Joe Cortez is right now getting on the verge. Cortez looking critically at that eye of Fernando Vargas. He need to throw more of his power. Stop. I don't know if that counts as a as a knockout. Hold on, let's go. Or whether they need a TKO. Maybe they'll need lawyers to uh, decide that. Purposely, uh, I think it was more of a mind bet than a real bet. case he should be told to let four power go with every punch that he throws. And Fernando tried to do oh, just wait, 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 that Manny in the last round. The eyes close up but I didn't see what Shane did too much. Shane continuing to work that that's eye it. and that's Joe it. Cortez says that's it. Did not want to see that eye continue to take more punishment. Right hand here, by Mosley. Yeah, you're here to see Mosley through in the right hand, but I don't see where to me they're having as much effect as they should have. Right, out. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas, referee Joe Cortez 
must step in and call a halt to the contest. The official time, one minute, 22 seconds of round number 10. The winner by TKO victory, Sugar Shane Moe.